They're hoping to get Mike DeVoe going. Here he is, zero in blue, working on Hemingway with the shot clock winding down. That's a tough one for DeVoe and a good start for him. Junior from Orlando who averages 13 and a half points per game for the Yellow Jackets. Honor throws it down low for Sims who got the roll. Each of these teams is going to be looking to get back on defense. You do not want to give up any easy baskets. Oh, good recovery by Usher, and then Alex Hemingway had a hard fall. Oh, go, go. This is really a nice play. He really tracks his man really effectively. You know, lots of times you commit a foul there. When you talk Alvarado. about outstanding defenders, Alvarado is all <laughs> over Honor. Honor got by him, though, to the cup to tie us up at four. Parham looking for somewhere to go. Jordan Usher's got to get back in bounds. <laughs> yeah, what's Usher doing? <laughs> Usher spinning and scoring as he did get back in bounds. Dan Bonner, Mike Monaco, our entire crew with you. Slow offensive start in this one, Dan, as both teams feeling each other out. Well, not really surprising. Clemson's an outstanding defensive team, but there's Michael DeVoe. Dan, I know you were looking to key in on this matchup. That was Moses Wright spinning against Amir Sims, and now it's DeVoe on the drive and right on the follow. Job following the ball and tracking it to the basket for an offensive rebound. Sims trying to stretch right out, and Sims knocks it down. The senior from Virginia. This is Wright, who slips in and gets the easy follow. Bubba Parham off the baseline, out of bounds from Jordan Usher. One of the very best defensive groups in the entire country. Trap gave it up, and there's another one from the outside that drops. Let's see if there's some better movement here from Clemson on this possession. They got it to Alamir Dawes curling into the key. Look at Georgia Tech's resume. This for them on the road would be a quad one victory as things stand right now. Sims got blocked by Moses right underneath. Georgia Tech does not go deep into the bench. Although Josh Pastner very willing to let guys stay in in the first half with two fouls. He leads the country in that regard year in and year out. John Newman with the bucket inside the paint. Quickly back the other way. It is Jordan Usher with the slam. Quick first step from Sims, who gets the roll, plus the foul, and a chance at three. And it is three fouls on Moses Wright. Sims is the biggest guy. He's there on Moore. Shot clock is winding down. Alvarado jacks it and hits it. Well, he had four dunks in that first half. He made two threes, but I can tell you from experience, it's hard to score from the place he's sitting now. <laughs> yeah. Clyde Trapp on the drive, missed it from a tough angle. Usher, nice step through. Nice spin by Sims, and then he missed it as he turned away from Rodney Howard. Nice job by Howard just to maintain his position. And another nice job by Howard setting the screen. After the Brad Brownell timeout. Oh, they hadn't turned it over in six minutes, but they gave it away there. And now Kyle Sturdivant on the drive in transition with two more for Tech getting out and running. Great job by Sims to not throw that ball back in bounds until he was sure he was throwing it to his own guy. Usher blocks Honor on the drive at this end. Alvarado back out there. So too is Moses Wright, five in the blue. He picked up his third foul at the 823 mark. And Bubba Parham starts the scoring coming out of halftime. He scored 30 or more points nine times. <laughs> so he's a guy that can put the ball in the basket. Howard into the game with Wright on the bench for Georgia Tech. And a nice attack from Alamir Dawes. And what a finish. Clemson trailed by as many as nine in the first half. Wright is back into the game. Usher from the corner for three. And Usher made five of them, and that five <laughs> was a third of his total for the ACC season. Tyson got loose back door on the baseline and got it from Trap. Now Dawes is trying to give Clemson the lead. 
That may have been a little deep, but it's a wide open three. I think Dawes has to take that. A huge impact on our defense, because if we are making shots, we can set things up a little more structured defensively. This time the three goes down as Clemson cuts it to one, thanks to Clyde Trapp. Three personal fouls in the game. Wright is still in there. Let's see if Clemson tries to attack inside. They do with honor. Nice body control off the window, driving on Alvarado. Parham. Uh, he's been good in this one. Bubba Parham's up to nine points now, and a guy who only averages seven and a half per game. And he has not been converting. Normally, you wouldn't mind Alvarado in transition. That's a good shot for him. Honor knocks it down, and Clemson's back in front. And Alvarado without an assist as well. And now it's Dawes on him. DeVoe sinks that one and much needed for Georgia Tech. And Michael DeVoe is up to 15. There's the lob for right underneath. Nicely done by the Yellow Jackets. Alvarado's up on the ball here as Sims set the screen. Honor kicks it. Trap hoists it and hits it. And they're not easy games either. And that's that. Now, Clemson is really starting to heat up from three. And they've played a really challenging conference slate so far. Shot clock winding down on Michael DeVoe and a long two to trim the margin to one. Than they did in the first half. And look at the ball pressure from Alvarado up on Nick Honor. Sims jockeying with right, and Sims scored over the top in an excellent post matchup between those. And Sims operating that close to the basket. Parham answers right back with honor up on him. And a half to go in this second half from Little John Coliseum. Good hands from DeVoe again for Georgia Tech. On the run out, it's DeVoe laying it in. All set up by a career-high fifth steal for DeVoe. A great kick out from Dawes to find Sims. Clemson trying to build on the Carolina and Q's wins last week. Here's Alvarado knocking it down and finally maybe starting to heat up. Had been one of six from deep before that. Usher driving on Bear. Got it to go, plus the foul for Jordan Usher. He's into double figures as well, joining Parham with a dozen. And it's Georgia Tech by three. Sims ties the ball game. And maybe not as well as he had shot it from deep last year. Right over the top of Bear. Look out below. But then Moses Wright is wide open on the inside, and he just powers that. No, nope, it's man-to-man. -man. And Wright scores over Bear. Drew the foul as well. Both of them can be fairly aggressive on the offensive end. You don't want to pick up your fifth foul with a charge. Here's Wright, and he gets the roll over Sims. And boy, Moses Wright has come alive here down the stretch for Georgia Tech. Great entry from Bear to Sims to cut it to one. Clemson down by three with the basketball with less than two to go in regulation here at home. High low, this time it's Sims to Bear with the finish. Parham saved it at the midline. That is some kind of play by Parham. And now Parham cannot hit from three. He's been terrific, 23 points. Found honor, and he's blocked. Moses <laughs> Wright came to get it. That was actually DeVoe that came over and swatted at that as well. And Wright for sure gets it this time on Sims. He got free underneath from DeVoe, right on cue. Sims off the bounce, got some space and got the roll. Maybe carved out some real estate on Moses Wright. Yep. Ninth team foul on Clemson. Bounce back performance for the junior from Orlando who only had two points. I think you got to try to get three here. 
Sims had a look at it. Got it down low to Bear. So they cut it to one and used only three and a half seconds. Both feet and the ball are across the line. And that was not the case there. No, no timeouts. timeouts. Clemson down by one. This is Nick Honor for the win. Oh, oh, the win. That gives Clemson a chance, and Honor, this is a really good screen by Sims. Alvarado never sees it, and that's a situation where you can't be playing that far off of Sims. You've got to get up.